deki uh, started to have a, uh, a little part of the training session with us, but uh, is not available for uh, for tomorrow. And uh, Lucas Mora is uh, available, uh, and uh, despite uh, he, he had only two, three training session with uh, with us, but uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, uh, is with us and. Uh, uh, he will be on the bench, and uh, no other, no other problems, no other injuries. Tom, hi Antonio. Hi. Um, just seeing as Harry was in the room, he's obviously had a fantastic start in the Premier League, but is yet to score in the Champions League. W what do you put that down to, and how much? You know, back to Matt's question about Haaland and the impression he's had, maybe taking the pressure off Harry and him going under the radar. How much have Spurs benefiting from that? But uh, I think I think uh, uh, you know you know which is uh, uh, his form, and uh, I think uh, uh, Harry started the season uh, really well. Um, I think that we are working to uh, to continue to do uh, to do well and uh, to improve to improve himself because I know that. Uh, uh, Harry uh, can, uh, uh, yeah, can take uh, uh, big, big levels, and uh, I think uh, for uh, for us, uh, he's, a, he's a really important player and um, he's scoring goal in uh, in uh, the Premier League and uh, he's scoring. Uh, um, we, we we need uh, about uh, his goals also in the Champions League. And um, he has to continue to work in the way that he's working. And uh, every day, every day when I speak with my players, uh, I ask, uh, I ask uh, to them to to push themselves, to push themselves, and to try to uh, to aspire to make the difference every day, every day, because. Uh, uh, every day uh, we have this possibility to improve ourselves and uh, for this reason uh, my demanding is very high. We have only only one way to try to uh, to be competitive uh, in this league uh, and uh, in this uh, tournament to be really good and uh, to, to aspire every day to to make the difference to be better the day uh, uh, the day before. Alex. Hi Antonio, uh, we're a couple of weeks after the international break and where games are every three days relentlessly now until yeah. uh, the World Cup break. Uh, just how difficult is that for you t to manage, especially when you've got uh, games like tomorrow that are, are must not lose? Yeah, but uh, it's not it's not simple and uh, I think uh, it's a difficult situation for uh, all the teams, all the clubs uh, and uh, to play every three, every three days is... Uh, it's a big effort. You have to try to manage the situation in uh, in the best possible way. But at the same time, uh, you know that you have to make rotation. But at the same time, you you know that you uh, you need to get good results. Otherwise, uh, there are a lot of uh, criticism uh, for uh, for the result. Um, yeah, finger cross, finger cross, and to try to to have uh, all uh, all the players available. To try to make rotation with great balance, because uh, uh, it's important in every game to have a good balance. And uh, also, when you make uh, a lot of rotation, you have not to to lose your identity. I think this is the most important thing for for uh, every every team to keep the the club at uh, at, at a good level. David. Hi Antonio. Hi. You try with a three-five-two in in Brighton. Yeah. How satisfied are you with the results? And do you think that system can be used again in Champions League? Yeah, but if if you um, remember also last season uh, we used three-five-two uh, and uh, we we used uh, one player more. But also last season we played uh, two three games with the four-four-two and. Uh, uh, I think, uh, um, yeah, we try. We try to uh, to use the best formation. At the same time, don't lose our identity. 
and uh, this is very important because uh, when you change formation, uh, something has gone, um, is going to change into into the pitch. And uh, um, the last game we worked uh, with this system, but in, in the past we did, we did this system for this uh, for this reason. The knowledge was uh, uh, really clear. Then uh, can can be for for me a good a good option for uh, for the future, and uh, we'll see we'll see. And uh, yeah, we go game by game. Uh, uh, you know very well when when you go to play every three games, every three days, uh, you have to face also injuries. And uh, for me, I guess Brighton was really important to to give a bit of rest, uh, Richie Richardson, and uh, because. Uh, um, uh, Kruseski and, uh, and Mora, um, they weren't available. Yeah, and, uh, but I think uh, it's positive to have an, alter an alternative uh, in, uh, in our 3-4-3. Uh, three three. Matt? Um, Antonio, Harry is the captain of England in a World Cup year. Yeah. He's the face of like, the fight against discrimination. At the World Cup, he's sort of taken that role on. Yesterday, he was promoting uh, mental health, and then in the end of the evening, putting all the nation's children to sleep with his with his bedtime story. I mean, he's such a willing ambassador. Does it worry you that he takes too much on? And what do you do to make sure his mental health is is strong? And what can you do as his manager? No, I think I think that uh, Harry. Um, um, is uh, uh, is the best the best person to um, to represent to represent uh, this uh, campaign this type of, of situation because uh, you know Eri 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 is not only uh, a top player but he's a really uh, a top person and I think is uh, a is a really good example. And uh, I think to to try to to give him this type of responsibility is uh, is good also because you uh, invite the people to follow uh, the, uh, this campaign. Um, but I'm sure that at the same time uh, Harry is really focused on football. Uh, but for me it's okay, and um, I like that he's involved in this type of situation. So just to come up, because he's such a good ambassador, people go to him. Does he need to say no to a bit more if he finds himself getting swamped? And is the mechanism there for you to check that he is still remaining fresh? But uh, I didn't understand very well. <laughs> yeah, the Can you basically, as, as his manager, is part of your job to make sure that he's not doing too much and yeah, to keep an eye yeah, on him. You know, to yeah. look after him. In yeah, the same way he's trying to help us look after us. Yeah, I, yeah, I understood, but I think that I answered before. No, and uh, for sure it's up on on him and uh, about this situation. Um, but I'm sure that he's really focused on football and uh, he's really good to uh, to divide the two situation and uh, to give 100 uh, percent uh, in uh, in both situations. Okay. <coughs> Hi, Antonio. Yeah, hi. Um, how much is this season, because of the way you're playing so often, such big games you've already spoken about, how much is it just about winning and not really about the style and about maybe scoring three or four goals a game? How much is it just about playing winning football? I, I think I think that uh, every every team uh, play play to win. Play to to win, play to to get three points, and for sure um, to get uh, to get a win, to get three points, and uh, you need uh, to to have a, a a team well organized. Try to 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 play to play football and uh, to have a good balance, in my opinion, because I always said to you that uh, if uh, you want to have an op. Uh, at the end, uh, uh, to uh, to fight for something important, uh, it will be very important the balance into the team, uh, offensively and defensively. I think we are working uh, very well. Uh, for sure, we have uh, uh, a lot of space for uh, for improvement. Uh, I push my player to um, to try to improve uh, themselves every day, 
through the work because uh, for sure I, uh, the staff and I, uh, we work every day to improve, to improve uh, our play because I know that if we improve every single player, our level uh, will be uh, more up than uh, than, than now. Um, yeah, the 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 the, the, the win uh, the win is important. Uh, at the same time, it's important also to um, uh, yeah to, uh, to to enjoy no to enjoy football to play and uh, to to play football with uh, with the right intensity and uh, to involve all, all also your fans and uh, to be happy about your football. Last two, please, this gentleman, yeah. then Paul. Sure. Hi, Antonio. Um, talking about winning, talking about football, it's never an exact science, is there? I mean, uh, just after the game in uh, Frankfurt, you said you had enough chances to win the game, but you didn't score. Then you scored against uh, Brighton at the weekend. What do you need to do, <laughs> apart from creating all the chances um, tomorrow night? And when does luck come into the equation? In football, you sometimes you need to have luck as well, don't you? Yeah, but uh, I think uh, yeah, for, for sure, uh, um, especially in this uh, in this type of uh, tournament and the Champions League, uh, UEFA League, and this uh, uh, tournament that uh, you play not uh, not many games, okay? And uh, because I think uh, uh, the league, Premier League, uh, Italian League, and the French League, uh, and uh, usually at the end of this competition, after 38 games usually win the competition uh, the best team the team that showed uh, to be regular and uh, deserved to win in this competition sometimes you need to have a bit of lucky and uh, i think also in the uh, in the in the past uh, you watch the game that maybe one team deserved to win instead uh, they they drop no they drop it because uh, uh, the ball hit uh, the post uh, instead to go into the net, and uh, for sure a bit of luck is important. I don't like I don't like to to think that we need to have lucky to win because I think uh, the first important thing is the work to prepare well the, the game, to know everything about your opponent, uh, to have uh, your team uh, really well prepared to face the game in the right way. And for sure, tomorrow is an important game for us. And uh, my players uh, know very well. And uh, we play three games. We have four points. I always say to you that this uh, group is uh, there is great balance. And in every game, you can uh, get points or lose points. And it happened until now because <laughs> in every game, uh, and Marseille lost with us, and I uh, guess the uh, Inter Frankfurt, and uh, they won against Sport Lisbon, and. Uh, we did. Uh, we win. Uh, we won against Marseille, and we sp we lost uh, against uh, Sporting Lisbon, uh, and we drew against uh, Frankfurt. And uh, it was in every game. You can get points or you can lose. So for this reason, for for us now we have two games in a row at home, and uh, we need we need to exploit these two games because uh, in our mind, in our heart, in our desire. And uh, has to be only one uh, thought to go to the next round. This has to be very clear. Uh, and uh, my players uh, know very well. We have the possibility, for sure, we have to show that we deserve to go to the next round. Paul finishes off, please. Hi, Antonio. Can I just check on Kulisevsky? Do you think he will be back for the Everton game? And were you tempted at all to push him for this game, given the importance? At this stage of the group, yeah, but I, I think I think Deki Deki is, uh, yeah, he's uh, almost ready. And uh, yesterday um, he had uh, an MRI, and uh, the MRI was uh, really really positive. But at the same time, uh, I spoke with the doctors and said to me, tomorrow we can have five percent of risk. I don't want to take risk because, uh, uh, you know, Deki is an important player for us. Uh, it would be stupid, really stupid, to try to risk him and to lose him for uh, uh, for the rest of uh, nine games. And, uh, yeah, a bit of patience. I think we face this uh, situation without him 
in a, yeah, in the best possible way. At the same time, I think uh, with Everton, uh, probably it will be available uh, uh, to uh, to play. Okay. Thanks, Antonio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.